give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash, double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Salutations to the Lord's hopeful elect scattered abroad. All right, I'm the brother Taz of War, back at you again with another lesson. While I'm on the go, I wanted to make it quick, but I wanted, Lord, wanted to be edifying, Lord's willing. All right, hopefully my voice is not muffled from the windows being down and all the noise from the outside. But, uh, you know, I want to read these scriptures, which is scriptures we always, you know, we constantly go over and over and over because this, this, this word is a song and we're singing a song, okay? We're singing a song, which is the Lord's song and this song must be sung, okay? So anyway, let's read. This is Job 18 and five. Yea, the light of the wicked shall be put out and the spark of his fire shall not shine. The light shall be dark in his tabernacle and his candle shall be put out with him. So Esau, because this is going into Esau, all right? The, the wicked, the sons of the wicked who rule the world. And right now they're ruling the world in wickedness. All right, their light is the light of darkness, which really is going to lead to confusion with him being confused and cursed because right now he's enlightened. Okay, you know, that's why they call themselves the enlightened ones, the illuminated ones to be enlightened, you know, and they, they, they understand how the world works, but they, but they, they rule the world in wickedness. Because they understand that they're not going to have eternal life. And right now they're after the eternal life. And this is why everybody's getting plugged up to the Satan juice. And that's a prelude, you know, headed down the line for the permanent MOTB. All right. So they want everyone, everybody plugged up so they could play God and they can have more control over everyone. Than they do now and they can sit in the temple of the most high which is mainly being in the bodies of of you israelites you know for the people out there that can't understand you come across this video well you need to read scriptures say blessed he that readeth all right this thing is not all about money it's nwo it's mainly all about power and control right now we're in the season and the conditioning of gradualism and conditioning all right and there's a it's gonna so it's, it's gonna be a war of course all right because this is the lord's movie now uh at camp saturday you know brothers uh just going make it mention that that this that this is the lord's movie and the most high does everything so so really really you know to say esau when he make a move because he's making moves man all right but it's really not him it's yahweh all right Ba'ashim yahweh shot the Most High is playing chess with himself. Maybe I'll title the video, video that. The Lord is playing chess with himself. Because everything that's being done is being done and ordered by the Heavenly Father. Because it's dealing with Bible prophecy. So what Esau is doing is setting himself up for his own trap. Which is to bring the children of Israel into rulership. Starting with the elect. Call halal la Yahweh Yahweh Shai. Alright? So, you know, I want to read this scripture here, but I want to park up real quick. But anyway, let's go. Um, Job 18 and 5. Yea, the light of the wicked shall be put out, and the spark of the fire, of his fire, shall not shine. It says, the light shall be dark in his tabernacle, and his candle shall be put out with him. So, like, yeah, let me um pull up over here real quick. Mm -hmm. All right, it says, "Yea, the light of the wicked shall uh, shall be put out." It says, "Yea, the light of the wicked shall be put out, and the spark of his fire shall not shine. The light shall be dark in his tabernacle, and his candle shall be put out with him." Okay, because you're not gonna be the enlightened ones anymore you're going to be who you was created to be all right and as obadiah said the lowest among the heathen 
all right esau was created to be the sons of the wicked and they're doing their job wonderfully in being the sons of the wicked all right their job is is to destroy the scriptures say the uh uh the son of perdition okay you know i like this call it a master of disaster but they're just a tool okay that the heavenly father used to get israel into check all right now Israel been in captivity under the other nations as well, but this Edomite, which is um, what was was Jacob's brother, the Lord blessed him too, and right now we're living in His blessing, which His blessing is coming to an end. So as Esau is being blessed, or he is blessed, the Israelites are cursed, and when the Israelites are blessed, Esau is going to be cursed. So it says, the light shall be dark in his tabernacle and his candle shall be put out with him. So he ain't gonna have the uh, the uh, wickedness. He's not gonna persevere through wickedness, okay? And push wickedness and thrive, all right? It's gonna come to an end. It says, the steps of his strength shall be straightened and his own counsel shall cast him down. And that's the Lord, all right? The, the heavenly father is no joke, man, okay? Matter of fact, let me uh bear with me. Just wanna get a little isolated. Got people all in my mouth looking at me and shit. It is what it is. Anyway. Okay. It says the steps of his strength shall be straightened, and his own counsel shall cast him down. And that's beautiful. Because the Lord is going to use his own to cast him out. You know, just as the scriptures say in Psalms 10. Matter of fact, let me go to that real quick. I'll go to it. This is the book of Psalms chapter 10 real quickly. And verse 2, it says the wicked, right? The wicked in his pride do of persecute the poor. Let them be taken in the devices that they have imagined. All right, so Esau... With his devices, he imagined that he's going to be the most high. All right. He's going to be the God of Israel. And you're not. Okay. And ultimately, what he wants to do to the Israelites is destroy us from being a nation. Stop us from becoming back Yasha Allah. Now, Yasha Allah is, is uh, Israel in Hebrew. Okay. Yasha Allah, meaning he, prince of the power. All right. The Israelites are the, the men. Are the princes of the most high okay and you sisters are daughters okay of the most high all right or you could call yourself princesses if you want to okay but it's all about the men you know as well she play a role but the main thing is about the lord's men all right if the lord don't set up his men and his elect first we would never get to the kingdom okay it's about those men he said that uh revelations 21 and 3 tabernacle of the lord is with men I had to stress that because you got a lot of women that are wicked. You got a lot of women that don't have understanding. But you sisters who do believe and you're sincere and you honest and true and you watch, you know, you get it. You get it. Right. So anyway, it says the wicked and his pride do of persecute the poor. Let them be taken in the devices that they have imagined. So you're going to be taken in the very same device that you imagine. Because according to Obadiah, all right, you're going to be rounded up after a thousand years and you're going to be burned off the face of the earth okay so you're going to be taken in the devices that you have imagined the same way he's pushing his nwo the most high is going to put a monkey wrench in his um in his devices he's going to stop his enterprise all right so let's go back real quickly job job 18 and um hmm, i kind of jumped the gun but it's all good it says the steps of his strength shall be straightened and his own counsel shall cast him down for he is cast into a net by his own feet and he walketh upon a snare you see we just went over it all right he it says for he is cast into a net meaning he's cast into a trap it says by his own feet so the shit that excuse my french because i'm hyped you know i'm pissed off the same thing too so you know you don't like the cursing watch another video man i know i'm just gonna give it to you raw you know the way i best way i can do it all right so anyway it says for he is cast into a net by his own feet 
you know, by his gradualism, conditioning, by his, uh, his goal that he wants to accomplish, where everybody has the MOTB inside their skin, okay, where he can rule over the people and number the people, all right, he can be the most high, you know, he wants to plug us up to technology so he can manipulate us, because someone will say, well, how can he control us? Through frequencies. Whether you realize it or not, frequency and vibration hold an extremely important yet hidden power that affects our lives, our mental and physical health, and our consciousness. The science of somatics, which is the study of visible sound and vibration, proves that vibration and frequency are the organizational foundation for the creation of all matter and life. When sound waves move through a physical medium, such as land or water, the frequency of the waves has a direct effect upon the structures, and this works within the human body as well. To better understand the power of sound frequency, let's discuss the Kladni plate experiment, named after the German physicist and musician who made this concept visible. In his famous experiment, he showed how moving a violin bow against a metal plate covered with sand could visually display the movement of sound. The sand concentrated in areas where the plate was not vibrating. Through his work, he was able to conclude that sound, or frequency, travels in waves, and he was the first scientist to clearly demonstrate this connection. Take a look at these images to see how different frequencies create different effects to the structures of the sand. As the pitch of the tone increases, geometric patterns form and become more complex. One of the most important frequencies that you may hear of often is that of 432 hertz. Hertz. Okay, this is why everybody who, you know, got that, got that, um, that, uh, that prelude, all right, you know, I like to say, basically you have an antenna on you and there's plenty of videos that back that up. You know, walking past, here it is, you done did what you did. You walk past a TV or you your phone lighting up and, 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 and um, what you call it, uh, when you, um, uh, man, your phone lighting up saying, can, I, can, I, can, can, can you connect, all right? It's mad videos on that, man, all right? It's also Lucerus. If you put a black light, the light that they use, they used to use in the clubs, the security guards to see the little stamp on you, the invisible stamp they stamp on you before you walk in. You can actually see the 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 light within the body. So this is this is technology, okay? It says, for he is cast into a net by his own feet, and he walketh upon a snare, meaning a trap. Because this devil is he's caught in a trick bag. The most high is playing chess with himself, okay? So he's making the moves for E. So yeah, E's moves are gonna be dreadful. It's gonna be harsh because he is the sword, he's the Lord's whooping stick, right? But guess what? The Lord gonna knock him over and let Israel be who he right, who he originally made to be the rulers of this earth. That's in um. Matter of fact, I get it real quick. That's uh, Edris. You know, I'm, I'm thinking of Edris, uh, because Edris said um. This is Second Edris chapter six, and uh, I think fifty nine. Yeah, I'll read some of this real quickly. Like I said, if I didn't say this, this, uh, this word is a song. It's repetitive. You're gonna get some of the same scriptures again. You're gonna get some of the. You know, hey, you're gonna get it again and again, man. Uh, Second Ezra six and fifty seven. And now, O Lord, behold, these heathen, which have ever been reputed as nothing, have begun to be lord over us and to devour us. Okay, because we're in captivity. We're under these other nations okay we're under Esau Edom they're ruling over us you know they rule in their own lands we have to be subject to their rules we don't have our own laws which are the laws of the Lord and we to obey by this is why the world is a, is a shithole all right the world is it's like a toilet being flushed it's just circling down the drain and eventually it's gonna be nothing left all right because the damn heathens are ruling all right, Esau is ruling. The wicked is ruling. So, and now, O oh Lord, behold, these heathen, all right, which have ever been reputed as nothing, because you're nothing, man. You're nothing. Have begun to be lords over us and to devour us. 
Esau is devouring us through the foods, through the waters, through the air. He's devouring us through his policies and laws. He set up unrighteous decrees, okay? Education, medical, everything, man. To the point where there is no getting back to the Lord. The Most High don't exist. That's why the Lord got to do something, man. He got to do something. He going to do something. Divine intervention. You know, it's like forcing the Lord's hand to make a move. But this it's the Lord's movie. He's doing this, man. It's a beautiful movie. You know? It's a beautiful movie, man. It says, verse 58, But why thou people whom thou hast called thou firstborn, thou only begotten, and thou fervent lover, are given into their hands? If the world now be made for us, excuse me, if the world now be made for our sakes, why do we not possess an inheritance with the world? Because the world was made for us. All right. We fell from grace being the sons of God. OK. We fell from grace. But the Lord did chose that that particular line, that seed from out of Adam. OK. Through the Adamites. He chosen a particular seed, man. All right. And guess what? We're going to get that grace back. We're going to get that power back, divine and rulership again. And we're going to be made perfect through the second covenant, through Yahweh Shah's deliverance. All right. So let's go back. Um, verse 10. The snare is laid for him in the ground and a trap for him in the way. Terrors shall make him afraid on every side and shall drive him to his feet. All right. Because there will be a third world war. And this third world war is going to be the last war, which is called Armageddon. All right. It's going to lead these devils into that judgment seat. It's going to lead these nations into that judgment. Yahweh's Mashapat. It says, terrorists shall make him afraid on every side and shall drive him to his feet. Now, you got these elites, which uh, Elder Apostle Tahar, he kind of uh, pulled that article up I was speaking about. I couldn't find it. But that's the spirit. You know, Elder Apostle Tahar be on it, you know. And um, I got to be able to get back that article again. But last year in 2020, you know, the elites ran into a bunker. You know, they ran into the mountains. They, they, they hid themselves in these tunnels they've been building for years. And they still there. So they got like a year and some change, you know, hiding out while they call the shots and the world is going crazy. All right. But guess what? You're going to be dragged up out of there. You're going to be taken. Okay. Matter of fact, let me get that. I just want to read that. Because you devils, y'all y'all getting out of there. I don't give a fuck what y'all do to us. You know, take down the videos, you flagging videos and shit. Or you uh, giving me, giving strikes. And then you could go on YouTube and look at grown ass men dressed up in costume. Acting like another gender that they not. And they're, and they're feeding children uh, 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 their rhetoric. You know, training children, you know, to, to basically... basically uh, uh, be sexual, man. Okay, fornication. You know, promoting pedophilia. But then you flagging our pages. You striking us for a little old, little old one second, one minute video, man. Piss me off, man. I'm tired of YouTube, man. Um. Okay, it's so locked. You bear with me. Just read this one here, Isaiah chapter 2 and 19. Uh, it says, And they shall go into the holes of the rocks and into the caves of the earth for the fear of Yahweh and for the glory of his majesty when he arises to shake terribly the earth. And that day a man shall cast his idols of silver and his idols of gold, which they made each one for himself to worship to the moles and to the bats all right that's not the one i wanted all right so like you got where the scripture is at that's it Right, here we 
here we are. I had lost the scripture. I ain't grabbing in a while, so here we go. This is the book of Amos, chapter 9, verse 3. Start at 1. This is Amos, chapter 9 and 1. I saw the Lord standing upon the altar, and he said, Smite the lintel of the door, that the posts may shake, and cut them in the head, all of them, and I will slay the last of them with the sword. He that fleeth them shall not flee away, and he that escapeth of them shall not be delivered. So it don't matter how far you run. You can't hide from the Lord, all right? Because Esau is hiding and, and still doing his, his dirty work. It says, though they dig into hell, thence shall my hand take them. Though they climb up into heaven, thence will I bring them down. You know, and that's, that's, that's deep because the hand of the Lord is gonna be the Israelites, all right? Starting with the elect. So it says, though they dig into hell, thence shall my hand take them. Though they climb up into heaven, thence will I bring them down. You know, and this has showed you with the guy, um, uh, Jeff Bezos, if I'm saying that name right, the rich Edomite that went up into the heavens, like the first layer. He didn't go out of space. You know, he just stood before the clouds and a little higher up, you know, still in the earth. And, you know, they, they shuttled there. You know, they, they stayed there for a minute. You know, it was happy, you know, when they came down and they got off and he shared his experience all over the news. Well, Esau's gonna have shuttle stations. They already have them, okay? Where places where they can go run and hide. Though they dig into hell, which they go into those, those mountains, all right, and they dig into the ground. It says, then shall my hand take them, though they climb in, up into heaven, thence will I bring them down. It says, and though they hide themselves in the top of Carmel, I will search them, I will search and take them out thence. And though they be hid from my sight in the bottom of the sea, thence will I command the serpent and they, I mean, excuse me, and he shall bite them. All right. So anyway, um, you know, real quick, just to prove the hand, the hand, all right, that the Lord is going to use, you know, to take you devils out, to drag you out of those holes that you are in. Once the Lord, men receive those powers, all right, it's a wrap, okay? Once Yahweh shall return, it's a wrap. This is Ezekiel chapter 25 and 12. Thus saith Yahweh, because that Edom have dealt against the house of Judah by taking vengeance and have greatly offended and revenged himself upon them. Therefore, thus saith Yahweh, I will also stretch out my hand upon Edom and I will cut off man and beast from it. And I will make it desolate from Teman, and they of thee then shall fall by the sword. And I will lay my vengeance upon Edom by the hand of my people. So that hand is the Lord's people, starting with the elect. And they shall do in Edom according to my anger and according to my fury, and they shall know my vengeance, saith Yahweh. All right? And no, we're not going to pick up weapons, you know, and be carnal before the Lord come. And try to search them out. That's stupid. The scriptures say we wait upon the Lord, man. Okay? We're waiting upon the Lord. The Lord said his determination is to gather the nations, all right, to pour upon them his indignation. So this is prophecy when the Lord re recover his remnant, all right, the brothers receive those powers, and then they become those hunters. Matter of fact, let me get that. Um, anyway, this is Jeremiah 16 and 16. Behold, I was sent for many fishes, saith the Lord. Yahweh, and they shall fish them and after will I send for many hunters and they shall hunt them them from the er it says and they shall hunt them from every mountain and from every hill and out of the holes of the rocks so those fishes are those prophets because they're fishing for men for the Lord's elect and he said after he was sent for many hunters because these fishes are going to turn to hunters those terminators man all right having those angelic bodies all right, the body of a man, but 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 power of the spirit, you know, of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah Rakakwadash. It says, and they shall hunt them from every mountain. And that's where they hide it at. All right. He loved the mountains. He loved the high points, man. All right. And from every hill and out of the holes of the rocks. So now this is going back to Job. And I'm gonna wrap this up. It's pretty long now. But uh Lord willing, I pray you edified, man. You know, this place ain't going ain't, ain't, ain't going fast enough. You know, Lord willing, he speed it up for the Alexei. 
This is Job chapter 18 and 11. Terror shall make him afraid on every side, and it shall drive him to his feet. His strength shall be hunger bitten, and destruction shall be ready at his side. It shall devour the strength of his skin. Even the firstborn of death shall devour his strength. His confidence shall be rooted out of his tabernacle, and it shall bring him to the king of terrors. That's beautiful. That's beautiful music, man. Because he thinks he's the, the god of terror. When really, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is the king of terrors. All right? He's playing chess by himself. And he's making the moves for you devils. And he already gave us the script for the end of the movie that you're going to lose. You're not going to win. Okay? It says... It shall dwell in his tabernacle because it is none of his brimstone sh uh, shall be scattered upon his habitation. And that reminds me of Zechariah, the fifth chapter, when the Lord said, The curse shall go across the face of the earth for every one that stilleth on this side, according to it, you know, roughly paraphrasing, you know, because this place, this land in which he we dwell in, you know, today, he raped and robbed and stole this land. All right. From our brothers, from the 10 tribes that came here. Okay, after leaving the kingdom of uh, Solomon Nassar, all right, they left and they came over here because they knew it was free land, all right, to this uh, unknown world. Matter of fact, it was called uh, uh, Arsareth, if I'm saying that right, Arsareth, all right, and and they've been here ever since, all right. Now it says, it shall dwell in his tabernacle because it is none of his. Brimstone shall be scattered upon his habitation. Meaning this place is going to be destroyed by the ways of thermonuclear fire and also by the concentrated fire of the angels and those vehicles. All right. Now the 10 tribes knew about this unknown land because of Solomon going way back to Solomon, uh, Tarshish, when he had shipment, uh, shipment that would come over here. It takes them a year to get here and a year to get back. And they will bring back exotic animals. So guess what? The Israelites knew that this world exists. You Edomites at the time, you thought the world was flat. Until the Lord put the spirit on Christopher Columbus. All right. And he had his, his helpers, his sellout Israelites that actually helped him get here. So yes, we've been here on this land before you. This land was not discovered through Christopher Columbus. You devils, man. We were raised and taught in this society and we even they even cut school out you know people got off of work just for this holiday to celebrate Christ christopher columbus when he did not discover america when matter of fact he was a mass murderer he was worse than which who you want to call hitler you know he was hurt he was worse than than the image they depict of hitler okay so verse 16 his root shall be dried up beneath and above all and above all shall his branch be cut off. His remembrance shall perish from the earth and he shall have no name in the streets. So ain't nobody gonna remember you Edomites. That make me think of Isaiah 14. Is this the man that made the earth to tremble? You know, because once you devils fall from your grace and power, you know, even the other nations gonna look at you and say, is this the man that made the earth to tremble? That did shake kingdoms? It says his remembrance shall perish from the earth. He shall uh, have no name in the street. You know, just as it was before, it's going to happen again. Remember, the Lord pushed them Edomites into the caves for a thousand something years, man. Okay. He set that seal upon them that they was taken out of the world. So it's going to happen again. But first, you're going to have to, you know, play out that captivity, you know, double. All right. And then you're going to be out of the earth for good. It says, verse 18, he shall be driven from light into darkness and chased out of the world. He shall neither have son nor daughter, nor nephew, excuse me, among his people, nor any remaining of his dwellings. That they that come after him shall be astounded at his day, as they that went before were affright of. Surely such are the dwellings of the wicked. And this is the place of him that knoweth not Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai. All right. So they're going to be astounded at his day. And as they that went before were afraid of, because, you know, the nations, Israel, is all afraid of Esau, you know, on the whole. You're afraid of the blue eyed devil. You know, you step in the room, you, you got to put on a feminine energy. 
You know, he loves to see a masculine man very feminine, you know, because he's threatened by the natural masculinity that you have as a man, okay? He wants you to change the way you look. He wants you to change the way you talk. You know, he tries to teach us the way that he learns. We're not the same people. Did not the Lord say in the separation of the two children of Jacob and Esau, he told Rebecca, two different manner of people, we're not them. But you got Jake that's striving hard to be like them. All right. The elect is not like them. All right. Which is of Israel. You know, they're of another fashion, man. You know, they're not built as two thirds. The Lord woke them up, opened their eyes. You know, you supposed to think um, with, a, with a, uh, a, a ruling class mentality, not a peasant, because we're not peasants, man. We're peasants physically. All right. Because we don't have the power, but we're still going to walk with that ruling class mentality. You know, waiting and praying on a day that the Lord renew us, man. Okay, that the Lord give us that breath, that strength. He renew our strength, you know, and make us perfect again. So, Lord willing, I hope this lesson was edifying. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakwadash. Double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Salutations to the Lord's elect, Shalom. And pray and put those curses up for this place to go down, man. All right, pray for the elect and curse the wicked. Shalom.